Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany and in today's video I am going to be telling you all some tips and tricks that I do in order to keep acne at bay. No one likes acne, so if this is a video that you would like to watch then please go get a snack, get comfy, and let's hang out. Before we jump into everything, I just want to show you all what's on my face today. So I am testing out this e.l.f. blemish control face primer. I thought it was very fitting for today's video. Um, so far, you know, I don't know. I haven't tried enough. I feel like with primers or skincare, you've got to try it for like a month to two months to really know, does it work? Does it break you out? So I'll let you know. Hopefully this will be a favorite for me because anything to help blemishes, acne, I am for. So I will update you all on that. And for foundation today, I'm just using this It Cosmetics, the CC um, Illumination uh, Full Coverage Cream, but I just use like a, like a fourth of a pump just a little bit just for a little bit of coverage because this stuff can get very full coverage that's why I really enjoy it it lasts a long time because I use just a smidge of a pump now on my face I'm using this hourglass uh, face palette this is a light edit universe and I use literally every single every single powder in here I set my face with this I combined both of the blushes highlighted all over my face and this is my bronzer that I use and then on the eyes, I'm using the Bridgerton palette from Pat McGrath. This is what it looks like. I just have this uh, blue on the inner corner just for like a cute little pop. And then I'm just, I have some of these in the crease. And then this one on the lid. I love this palette. Even though, like as you can see, it's very bold and vibrant. But you can still get like an everyday natural look. Before we jump into the tips and tricks, I just wanted to let you know that I have got combo to dry skin, I have got very acne prone skin, and I have sensitive skin, and I do have eczema. So let's just jump right on into the tips. So first, first one is the most important in my opinion. Speaking of water intake. So I drink a ton of water every single day. What are y'all drinking on today? I figured for the sake of the video, I'd give my body some water. Okay, so I did not realize just how important it was to give your body a ton of water until I was pregnant. When I was pregnant, you have got to drink a ton of water. And I noticed such a huge difference in my skin. It changed dramatically. So a lot of my acne started to really slow down. It wasn't near as bad with all the water I was drinking. So next tip cleanse your face twice a day. So I used to always cleanse my face one time and I would do that at night. You know, after working all day, I would come home, get a shower, cleanse my face in the shower. Okay. Well, whenever I started doing it in the morning and in the evening, my acne reduced dramatically. Like it was insane. So it just, you don't really understand and realize how much bacteria you get on your face throughout, you know, nighttime and during the day. So that's another tip. Wash your face twice a day. I use this Kate Somerville. This is a daily foaming cleanser. It's acne treatment. I love this stuff. I use it twice a day. Um, I've been using this for a few months now. It's a huge bottle. And I also do like the Inky List, the Sicilic Acid. Those two are very good um, cleansers. Okay, so jumping into the third tip that I have for you all. Less is more less is more okay and I'm talking about skincare so a lot of people want to put all these products on their face and like you'll start breaking out and you don't even know what you're breaking out from because you have used so many products on your skin so I have got a skincare video on my channel and I stand by all those products I still use them all the time so less is more I've learned that with my face if I t use a ton of products my face is gonna like freak out it's like whoa what are you doing next we are going to jump into some tricks that I have for you all these tricks have helped me so much with my acne so let's just start off with the very first one your pillowcase. Wash your pillowcase every single week. I'm not kidding. A lot of, well, I don't know. Me personally, I used to just wash it like once a month, you know, and I didn't realize how dirty your pillowcase gets. So I started washing it every single week and wow, it has made such a difference with my skin. Also, do not sleep with like your hand on your cheek. 
or like your arm on your cheek because you know how much oils are on your hands bacteria you know body oil you would just be surprised how dirty your skin can get so try do not touch your face don't try to sleep with your hands on your face just as much as you can don't touch your face that is a game changer in my opinion so next now everyone tells you clean your makeup brushes clean your sponges when I tell you whenever I started okay right now it's dirty because I just did my makeup but I will wash my sponge after every single use this has helped me so so much I was always breaking out and I couldn't figure out why and I'm telling you it's because I was not washing my sponge after each use this really y'all this has so much bacteria and even if you don't use a sponge and you use like a brush a foundation brush it, wash it every single day it doesn't take too much time like I'm not saying you have to wash all your brushes every single day but whatever you apply liquid products to if it's a sponge or a foundation brush wash it with each use I'm telling you you will notice a difference also ladies replace your sponge I'm really bad about keeping the same sponge for a long time but we've got to replace them I just talked about washing your sponge after every single use now regarding your brushes that you use all the time I personally recommend washing if you're just using it on your face wash them weekly I know I was really bad about I would go like months and months and months and never ever wash my brushes Wow ever since I have started uh, washing these every single week I have noticed such a big difference in my skin just like the the overall tone of my skin is so much better when I do this so what I use to wash my brushes this is not like a deep cleanse I don't do that every single week um, this is just a refresh by Sephora it's just their Sephora brand I think this is 10 or 15 dollars and you get 6.75 ounces this lasts me a long time I just want to show you how easy it is to wash your brushes so I normally just I spray it a few times you know not much I get a rag washcloth and I just swirl it a few times and it is clean and now as you see just a few swirls and this brush is clean so I do this with all my brushes at least once a week unless they get dirty or like you know they have like my blush brush normally I have to wash that more but regardless wash your brushes and wash your sponges I'm telling you it will help keep acne and help your face so so much next ladies we all have nails some of us get like acrylic nails some of us get the dip nails some of us just have long nails honestly any nails even if they're short nails when you wash your hands let me show you so Jaclyn Hill posted like forever ago a video of her washing her hands and using a scrubby brush under her nails I'm like why didn't I think of that are you kidding me so every single time I wash my hands I this I'm just using like an old toothbrush but you can use any kind of scrubby brush I just scrub and scrub underneath my nails for you know the amount of time I would wash my hands and I'm telling you it has helped so much and plus you just you know you need to be clean and you have so much bacteria on your hands and I'm telling you if you do all these things it's going to help your acne leave it's gonna help it leave you know you're always gonna get some acne so I'm gonna jump right on into you need to know your triggers this is the last part of the video I'm gonna talk about triggers what triggers your acne okay it is so important to know and pinpoint what breaks you out it took me a long time to realize my triggers now that I know what triggers my acne for the most part I can keep it toned down I do have hormonal acne so you know I just do the best that I can but for the most part I can control breakouts my first trigger is stress I man, if I'm stressed out you're gonna know it my whole face will break out so I just try to like take a deep breath not be too stressed but we're all humans I'm a mom I'm a worry where I stress I can't help it so just try to take a deep breath because you're gonna know if I'm stressed out my whole face is breaking out if someone says something upsets me um, I will just worry about it and worry about it and think about it and then before I know it my whole face is broke out so stress is a huge trigger for me my second trigger chocolate I'm so sad <laughs> chocolate breaks me out really really bad I had no idea so I have a very sweet tooth I love I need a piece of chocolate at least once a day something small like a little Hershey kiss I need something sweet 
So I would always, always at least have like a little bit of chocolate throughout the day. I'm not kidding. I need chocolate. <laughs> but whenever I was pregnant, I was, I had gestational diabetes. Guess what? I didn't get to have chocolate. So I went without chocolate for a very, very long time. Even after I had my son, I didn't have like a big appetite. So no chocolate for me. My face was amazing. Like I did not have much acne. And it's because I'm allergic to cocoa and I wasn't consuming chocolate as much so I did not break out. It's very sad. I love chocolate and you know Valentine's Day is coming up. I've got to pass. I know I know it's chocolate. My daughter she loves like the Dove chocolate. I will sneak some every once in a while and my face man it just breaks out like the big cystic like the very painful the scarring ones. I know I cannot have chocolate every once in a while I cave in and I pay the price so that's a huge trigger for me I'm steering clear of chocolate okay so my next trigger is in the very beginning of the video we talked about water and how important it is now if I do not drink my water my face will show it I can tell it won't look as plump I won't look as hydrated um, and just my overall skin tone looks bad and then before I know it I start to break out so I've got I have got to got to drink water because if I don't it's bad news for my face my face breaks out so my last trigger and I there's nothing I can do about it I can't help it is you know once a time a month it happens I can't help it all of us women go through it I do have hormonal acne so I have just learned like it's gonna happen whenever it's the time I'm gonna break out I'm just gonna have to get over it there's nothing I can do about it but if I stick to all these tips and tricks I'm telling you about today for the most part I can control it and it won't be it won't get out of hand okay guys that wraps it up for me in today's video I hope you all enjoyed this video um, I just really wanted to share it even if I help one person it will make me so happy because for the longest time you know I was struggling with acne hormonal acne there's only so much you can do about it but all the other like environmental factors I can do something about and I really do try so let me know in the comments down below what are some like tips and tricks that you do to uh, prevent acne what are your triggers let us know what products you use to get rid of your acne I would love to know also I learned so much about skincare from skincare by Hiram I really feel like when I started watching his videos, my face started getting better because I was learning so much from him. So I will link his channel down below because, I mean, I'm telling you, I learned so, so, so much from him. But regardless, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And wherever you are in the world, I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys. Yeah.